So chemists, as you just learned from the crash course video, one mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles. Now that can mean atoms or molecules depending on what we're talking about, and I'll explain that in a second. So this number is called Avogadro's number, and we like to abbreviate that as Na. So if you see me use Na, that means Avogadro's number, and you don't need to memorize this, I'll, I'll put this on your test, but the number is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles. In the video you just watched, I believe they said 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. That's obviously just one more sig fig than what I'm using. So for example, one mole of hydrogen atoms is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd hydrogen atoms. One mole of water molecules is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd water molecules. A dozen donuts is 12 donuts. One mole of donuts is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd donuts. So whatever you're talking about, it's how many of that things you have. So if you're talking about hydrogen atoms, one mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd hydrogen atoms. If you're talking about water molecules, one mole of water molecules is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd water molecules. So now showed in the video, the mass of one mole is called the molar mass. And these are going to be your numbers on the periodic table. Okay. So for example, for carbon, as you can see on the periodic table, now these are averages of the most abundant stable isotopes on the planet. So for carbon, the molar mass is 12.01 grams per mole. So saying in one mole of carbon, there's 12.01 grams. This is the molar mass. Again, you find it on the periodic table. So right now, I've drawn out a road map for you. You have grams to moles to atoms. So we can convert. If we start with moles, we can convert to grams, or we can convert from moles to atoms. If we start with atoms, we could go to moles and then to grams. Or if we start with grams, we could go to moles and then to atoms. The way we transfer between these, between grams and moles, we use the molar mass. And like I just said, that's the number on the periodic table. So for example, the molar mass of carbon is 12.01 grams per mole. Because it has two units in it, it's a conversion factor between grams and moles. Now Avogadro's number converts between moles and atoms. Okay, so if you're going from atoms to moles, or moles to atoms, you would use Avogadro's number, which is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms per mole. Again, because it has two units in it, it's a great conversion factor. So let's do the example 0 0.0040 grams of BK. BK is berkelium. It's number 97 on the periodic table, so why don't you pull out your periodic table and find BK right now. Now I'm asking for the number of moles. The number of moles in 0 .0040 grams of berkelium, and we want to think about significant figures as well. So here's a math problem. Hopefully you've all found berkelium on your periodic table. Okay, so we'll start with 0 .0040 grams. Okay, so I've got my scale. I found out, let's make this decimal point bigger, I found out the number of the mass of berkelium that I have. This is much how much berkelium I have. I want to know how many moles is that. Okay, so I have grams of BK and I need to convert it to moles. So looking on your periodic table, berkelium is 247 grams per mole. 247 grams per mole. Now because I want to get rid of grams, and I have it right here, I need to write the grams unit on the bottom to get rid of that. So I'll write grams down here. Because I want to get to moles, I'll write it on the top. So now the number I just found on the periodic table was 247. Our units are grams per mole. Okay, from the periodic table, our units are grams per mole. You might want to write this, grams per mole. Write it on the top of your periodic table so that you know we're going to be dealing with those molar masses in grams per mole. So I need to fill in some numbers, so it's 247 down here grams per one mole. So in essence on my calculator I take 0 .0040 and I divide 247 and I get 
1.6 times 10 to the negative 5, and let's think about our units. It's moles, well moles of what? Moles of BK, of berkelium. 1.6 times 10 to the negative 5, because I want two sig figs. There's two sig figs here, this 4 and 0 are significant, and there's now two sig figs here. So now let's do the second part of the question. I have number of moles, I want to know the number of atoms. Okay, so if I have 0 .0040 grams of berkelium, how many atoms am I going to have? So we started out in grams, we went to moles, and now I can go to atoms. Okay, I'm not going to use this .0040 again, I'm going to start with what I left off with. I left with moles, so I'm going to use that. So we have 1.6 times 10 to the negative 5 moles of BK. Because I want to get rid of moles, I'm going to write it on the bottom. And I want to get to atoms, so I'm going to write it on the top. Okay. Now, as we said, Avogadro's number is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, but let's think about the units. In this case, because I start with atoms, I start with berkelium atoms, it's going to be atoms per mole. Okay, so in one mole, there are 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of berkelium. So on my calculator, I end up doing 1.6 times 10 to the negative 5, and I would write this in parentheses on your calculator, times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Again, I would put that in parentheses. Scientific notation is helpful to put it in parentheses on your calculator. So I put those in parentheses on my calculator, I multiply them together, and I should get 9.6 times 10 to the 18th. 9.6 times 10 to the 18th, and my unit would be berkelium atoms. So chemists, here is your uh, last um, example problem. So you have 2.3 times 10 to the 20th atoms of Au, which is gold. And I want to know how many grams of gold. If this is how many atoms of gold you have, 2.3 times 10 to the 20th, how many grams do you have? So let's think about what you're going to do. You're going to go from atoms, and you need to get to grams. But the question is, can you go right to grams from atoms? And hopefully you'll realize you can't. You need to have something in the middle there. When in doubt, always, always, always convert to moles. So you're going to go from atoms to moles to grams. So now I'll pause it. Why don't you pause it here and try to figure out what the answer is, and then I'll give you the solution. So pause it now. So chemists, here is our solution. We start with 2.3 times 10 to the 20th gold atoms. Because we want to get rid of the unit atoms, it's the only, it's the only number I give you, so start with that and you want to get rid of the unit atoms, so write it on the bottom. Now you know you're going from atoms to moles, so if atoms are on the bottom, write moles on the top. The way to convert between atoms and moles is Avogadro's number. So Avogadro's number is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. The key is where do you write it, top or the bottom? Well the unit for Avogadro's number in this case, because we're talking about atoms, it's atoms per mole. So 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms per one mole. You write it like that. Now the unit's atoms cancel out, and now we have the number of moles. Now I do this all in one step because I think it makes it easier. You don't need to do any math yet. You don't want to be in moles, you want to be in grams. So keep going. So I kept going because I don't want to be in moles. I need to write it on the bottom here and write grams on the top. Now the way you go from moles to grams would be your molar mass. Your molar mass is how you're going to go from grams to moles, or moles to grams. Where do you find the molar mass? Again, that's on the periodic table. So on, on, underneath gold on the periodic table, you should see the number 196.97.
The units for that, as I had you write on your periodic table, are grams per mole. So there's 196.97 grams per one mole of gold. So 196.97 grams goes on the top, because that's what you're trying to get to, is grams. One mole goes on the bottom. Now your mole units cancel out, and you're left with grams. So on your calculator, you should take 2.3 times 10 to the 20th, and again, scientific notation, put it in parentheses. Take that number and divide, because this is on the bottom, divide in parentheses by 6.02, times 10 to the 23rd. That's on the top, that's on the bottom, so 2.3 times 10 to the 20th, in parentheses, divide by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Your calculator will say something like 3.82 times 10 to the negative fourth. I don't need to write that down, because right now I'm just going to multiply then, because this is on the top, I'll mu multiply by 196.97, and I get 0 0.075 grams. It's really 0.07525 so on and so forth, but because I have two sig figs there, I want two sig figs there. So your answer is 0 0.075 grams of gold. Thanks, and see you in class.